All right, this is what we're going to fix today, my check engine light. Then go over here, my OBD2 sensor, to my old phone. I'm going to read the trouble codes. And it's TP0420, which is my Cal converter, which I'm going to go fix now. This should be fun. Well, this is what we're going to be changing out on the exhaust. You got the cal converter, which is shot, and it goes all the way to the muffler. So I got a walker, which is the cal converter with the resonator air pipe that goes to the muffler. And I got all the parts. So you got the gasket, the hangers, the U-bolt uh, that hooks it together with the resonator and the other gasket. So we'll stick that on now. So here's underneath the car, there's the first coupling I need to take off up there. Then you got oxygen sensor one and the oxygen heat sensor two. And you got the resonator pipe going down to the coupling back here and then the, that's it. So that's the bottom of the car. Okay, now step two is lubricate everything. If you were using this, we gotta spray some WD-40 inside of it so it moves around. And then spray some lubricant to get the oxygen sensors off. And also the bolts in the front. And the bolts in the back. So spray that so it'll come off. And then we'll do step next. Okay, do, 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 do. okay after you use a uh, penetrating lube, you can use a 7-8 to uh, loosen up your oxygen sensor. So I'll take this off now and two hands. All right, now I removed the oxygen sensor. So just make sure you twist the wires um, so you don't like do anything weird with them. And then when we install it, just gotta make sure we twist it before we stick it in so they twist back to normal or something like that. All right, I know I can get the back ones done, but I'll start with the front get these bolts out there because they're pretty in there and I'm pretty sure they're in there because of the heat cycles. So we'll try to get that out. And so the air tools we'll use the my battery half inch impact on this angle here. Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna have to go find that. Ugh. Oh, that one too. All right. So once we get the freak, <laughs> once we get the pipe out of the way, I can get the bolts out. <laughs> But look at that, it's loose. It's step whatever we're on now. It's complete. Oh, no, my man. Oh, boy. Oh, this isn't a freaking way. Oh, here we go. There you go. You got a spring and a bolt. And we'll put that right there. Spring and a bolt. And then we lost them over there, so gonna have to go find that. And this is loose. This is loose. Okay. Alright, step completed. And then we'll come over here. Alright. You can cut these off since I have new ones, but let's see if we just get them off since I already greased them up. Let's see how hard this is. This just falls on my face. Okay. 
Oh, look at that. That. Okay, one more. Okay, make sure you don't hit your face. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's coming. You have separation. <laughs> I'm in the way. <laughs> Everything is in the way. <laughs> this is a quick overview. You got the gaskets, you got the pipe, you got the hangers. At least the new ones, two pieces, so you get the uh, clamp to make them one piece. And then you have the other gasket. The other one's stuck on there. And that's what you got with this. Alright, we're gonna put the gun in first, apparently. Okay, and tight. So, Okay, all right, so we got that hand tight for now, so it's hanging. And then let me get the uh, resonator back over here. Because I gotta get her in. Okay, okay. Okay, now, this up, meeting neutral here. Okay. Now she's going to. She's in there. Okay. So she's in there. Let me redo the back. Okay. Alright. Got my gasket back on. Just got to go forward. Alright, let's see if it's easier. Now, the gasket's holding it up. I don't have to screw it. Okay. Okay. 
it's a problem. Alright, but now... Okay. Since hangers are in. Okay. Alright, so after that, cat goes first, then the resonator. Now we know. Or now you know for next time. Okay. So, uh, this is still in. Alright, so let's get this in. So I gotta double check this later. So, yeah. Okay, so that's in, that's in. Let's get the clamp on. Oh, 
level. Okay, as the overview, we got the bolts back in the front with the new cat. I got the coupling in the middle here with the new hangers going down the resonator. See the bolts in the back with the new gasket. Now we're on the last step here, which is doing the uh, O2 sensors. Okay. Okay, one, you can see it, and two, you can see it, I can see it. Okay, hey, I guess you can see it. Uh, what the hell am I? Oh, here I am. Here I am. I have three and a half turns backwards. Okay, now I'm gonna stall this here. Okay, it's counterclockwise. All right, it's tight. All right, you're just gonna make sure you spin them backwards before you put them in, and then the uh, wires will be straight once you're done, and then I just gotta tighten this up. So since it's ready tidy, first you just gotta do a lefty loosey three and a half turns. Stick her in. And, okay, I gotta go backwards again. She's out. Go backwards a little bit more. And then stick her in. No. Okay. And you stick, come on, stick her in. Yeah. And you stick her in. There you go. There you go. Alright, remember, go backwards, then go forwards. Kinda. Lefty Lucy with the wires, ready, tidy, get them in. Ugh. And then since I don't have anything big and metric, I got seven eighths to tighten this up. Ugh. And remember, you want to use this kind of wrench. I don't know what the hell it's called, but this is what the other guy used on a different car. Okay, I guess hand tight's good. If this doesn't work, okay. Okay. Okay, look at that. Okay. And we're in. Okay. Alright, so use my sevens, eights. Okay. Alright, so this was seven eights. And then I believe it was 14 millimeters for everything else. Hey, look at that, 14 millimeter. And then 14 millimeter for. The other bolts, including the coupling. So, there you go. We got oxygen sensor, oxygen sensor, we should be good to go.
Now, final look. Got new bolts. Oxygen sensors back on. Oxygen sensors back on. We got the coupling holding the resonator and the catalytic converter on. We got new hangers going down to the bolts in the back with the new gasket. So the tools used were just uh, lubricant, got a screwdriver, 7 8 wrench, and a 14 millimeter socket for impact. And a flashlight, optional. Alright, so I'm back in my car with the engine light on, but with my OBT2 sensor. And we're with one head. It's my Stats right now with four horsepower. Okay, now I'm gonna read trouble codes. All right. All right, it's a better view with my engine light. So read trouble codes. It's got the emissions. Then the uh, PO 420. I'm gonna clear it. Clear. And now my engine light's off. So hopefully, zero now. So, without any problem, the engine light should not come back on for that because I switched out the catalytic converter. So, that's my story. And that's my car. We're done.